I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at sand crabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. <laughs> Screw the normal intro, man. I just put my lucky deep dragon dagger on the back of the mic and realised that it doesn't work on green screen. The tip, the tip's green curtain. It's a poison dragon dagger, so it's like a blunt dragon dagger. <laughs> Well, I'll keep it there anyway. We got the blunt D dragon dagger for the uh, the moral support here, which tip doesn't show up. Welcome back, everyone. We're about to head into the caves for the final challenge of the series. The aim today, if we can get at least halfway through the caves, we're good. The official halfway point. There are 63 waves, but it's not just like 32 is the midpoint because they get harder as they go. The halfway point in terms of like damage dealt is with 43. So as long as we can pass that, we're good. I don't think we should have any problems there, but we'll see. It's going to be slower than what I'm used to. I don't think it's going to take us the full two hours to do the fight caves. So I don't know. We should probably make it to around wave 50 today, I imagine. But that might be a bit of... A generous estimate. I know that a lot of people who are watching the series aren't that familiar with the fight caves necessarily, so I'll give like a brief description of new enemies and stuff as they come out, uh, but this isn't going to be a guide video, you know, I'm focused on my challenge at the end of the day. If you want to see a fight caves guide, I'm more than happy to put out one. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see, and I yeah, I'll probably get to it anyway, either way, I've just been busy with this series, so haven't had the time to, to dedicate to that outside of it. But yeah, enough rambling. We're on World 567, which we have to remember, because if we don't log back in on the same world, it will ruin our run. And yeah, let's get into it. I think I need to get my invent set up, I don't believe it's, it's currently there. Yeah, no invent at the minute. And before we go in as well, I want to turn this transparency off. There we go. And one other thing which we can't forget to bring with us. Our boy, Scurry himself. I'm going to change his left click to walk here so I don't click him by accident. Alright. Okay, I think I'm actually going to swap a single prayer pot for another ranged pot. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I can make sure that I can keep putting up to max all right let's go folks let's go we are in the cave oh no i didn't turn the floor thing off i totally forgot about that i need to tackle the bats should have put before going in oh there's a bat spawning over here that's not good so i do have a couple of plugins on although one of them's not showing up oh we've got a blob here so i'm just gonna safe spot him very briefly i'm gonna switch over profile oh fuck that's gonna mess up my prediction in it but i wanted to see what the uh hide ground object hider no uh, uh fuck it's called object id i feel like it is oh it is this one it is this one ground object hider okay then we just switch back real quick okay hider don't have ground object hider we can get it i just i can't stand this fucking floor Okay, so if you put these IDs in, you can hide the horrible floor in the fight caves. Make things actually visible. Cheers, Avers, for not working. Okay, so the enemies we've seen so far, we've got these blobs. When you kill them, they split up into the two little blobs. Neither form hits that hard. We're not at the right rock at the minute. We want to be over by Italy rock. And I just want to turn on highlight tiles so I can see where my darts are. 
The blobs are simple enough, they don't hit that hard or regularly. The bats are annoying as fuck. Curse. They drain your prayer. I'm gonna spec here, because the blowpipe spec heals you for damage dealt. I think it's for damage dealt. 50% of the damage dealt. So you want to keep yourself away from the bats. I also don't know why one of them's not working. It's not that one, is it? Fight. Oh, that's not the right one. Okay. It's that one that I wanted. Oh, shit. Didn't give a prayer on that. Close one. Okay, so now we have the rangers coming. We still prioritize the bats. And this thing's really short range, isn't it? I don't know where to put this. The ranger can also melee, so you want to stay out of its melee range. More importantly, kill the bats. Don't let them touch you, they'll drain your prayer on every hit. Just always stay away from the bats. Just yamming the purple sweets here and there to keep the HP high. Not worried about prayer because we have literal tons. Kill the rangers before the blobs because then you can turn your prayer off and conserve it anyway. Tons or not. It's just correct. This is in the middle of fucking nowhere. There, there, that's a good place for it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not covering it there. Is that quick prayer on at the minute? It needs to be on that. And then, yeah, even though we'd kill the rangers before the blobs, we always kill the bats first. Bats first is the one thing that will run through the entire cave. And this, uh, this rock that I'm chilling at, that looks kind of like Italy, people call it Italy rock. You'll hear that name a lot if you're watching any uh, content about the fight caves. That is a good place to chill at because you can safe spot a lot of the melee enemies there. Now these little blobs can actually be handy for blocking melee enemies. The range on this thing is so useless. I've never really used the toxic blowpipe that much before. I've already been fucking munching these purple sweets, just trying to keep my energy up. Yeah, basically how the waves go, like, you start off with one enemy, and then you get two of that enemy, and then you get one of the next enemy, and then two of that enemy. It just, like, adds until you're facing two of everything, pretty much. I'm not explaining it well. That's what the wiki's for. I'm just going to let them come a bit closer to me. I want to stay close to this rock so that I don't have to waste run energy. Zip a bra. Oh my gosh, I put a wrong one on. I got kind of lucky there. I'm not going to go to the front. Tanked two range hits. Got a 25 off the spec, which was nice. Big heal. Okay, now we actually get to chill for a few waves because it's these melees. Yeah, melees are easy as hell to deal with. Actually, I'm just going to brew once, prayer, and then, because I needed prayer anyway, and we're using our restores most of the time, so. Yeah, the melees just chill. You sit on this side of Italy rock, that's the north orientation. You sit on this side of it, and they just chill there. You can do the same thing with the blobs. This one's going to spawn next to me in a minute, so I'm going to get a little bit closer. And the Avers is not doing much. Huh. The reason I got on that side is because we can also say spot them on this side of Italy Rock. There's the north look. You can see this bat is also just going to get blocked right behind it there. However, our range is too short to get the bat from behind it apparently. So that's fun. Good to know. If you're using an MSB or a crossbow, you'd be good there. You'd be able to just hit the bat behind it. But might have to swap to long range if I'm trying to do that. As always, bats first. We've got just a blob and a melee up next. It's a nice, easy wave. We get to chill a bit for these middle waves until the rangers start coming back. And then when the majors come, that's when things really get serious. The early waves are, are very easy for the most part. It's once you get to about wave 30 that you actually have to focus up. Which is good, because it's giving me time to drink my coffee and wake up. What do we do with a blob and a melee? 
we load the blob to this side and then we chill. I love how Scurry is just like also chilling. You do want to be careful not to let the melees hit you. I've kind of accidentally tanked a couple zeros, but they can slap and they also heal people nearby. So, gotta be careful. Forgot I can't hit that back one. <laughs> now here we're actually chilling. This bat's running at us, but the blob's in front of it, so we don't need to worry. Same cases over here. Curious if I can actually get that with a long range. Okay, I could get it with a long range without moving. That's good to know. Double blob melee. I'm trying to keep an eye on this little regen meter as well whenever it gets too low. Flick that because we are above max HP now thanks to the brew. May as well try and sustain the extra hit points for as long as possible. Right, we've got a, a melee range wave coming next. We're probably only gonna be like over here. I'm just gonna try and trap one and deal with them one at a time. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it'll kinda suck if I accidentally get my fire cape in episode 44. <laughs> so far, I wanna zoom in, but like I said, these are the easy waves. I'm really worried about my dark count, I don't know why. I got plenty, I just, every time I see a bunch on the floor, I'm like, shit, they should be in my backpack, in my quiver. Okay, that was a bit of an awkward start. I'm just gonna kill this melee before the ranger. It does mean we have to leave our prayer on the hallway, but took a hit from a bat there as well. There goes the combat achievement for not getting hit by them. We got ranger melee blob coming next. The range on this is such garbage. My gosh. I should not be stood directly under where the melee is spawning. Oh my god, I'm getting lucky on these hits, I'm not gonna lie. Get tanked, beast. I'm gonna kill this before the blob. Wow, that energy runs out so fast. The 16 agility life. Okay, we got Bat, Blob, Ranger, Melee. A little bit of everything coming. Ranger's up there. We can trap this Melee, we don't have to worry about him. Just kill the Ranger, nice and chill. And then finish the rest off after. We do have to wait for it to actually get to us, man. Oh, no, I forget how garbage the range on this thing is. I need to lure it deeper, though. Okay, next we've got double bat blob ranger melee. Similar. Similar. Uh, we're gonna kill the bat and move down here, try and trap the melee on this side of it, Lurok. But I'm first just gonna brew, restore, prayer, drink a ranging pot. Okay, we got the melee itself and the blob trapped behind the ranger, so that's fine, but the bat goes through. I need to top this up or I'm gonna be smoking fumes for the rest of this fight, Caves. Now oh, we're big chilling here. Almost on the mages. Just starting on the melee because the blob's that threatening so I can kill the ranger next. Double ranger wave next with a melee. Don't really have to worry about the melee. Okay, nice easy double melee. We are going to go over here and then we are going to walk this way. Very casually. Try to conserve some run energy. Got our first major about to spawn. So we're going to go ahead and swap our quick prayers over to pray mage. The mages are very tanky. So they're going to be a lot slower to kill. And we don't want to risk missing a flick because they absolutely slap us. 
they can easily hit like plus 40s. I don't even know how high they go. Fortunately for us, we do have Venom from the Toxic Blowpipe to help speed up these matches. Would be a lot worse without it, to be honest. Apparently that was a hard task. The real difficulty comes in when you have mages and rangers, because you have to keep your prey mage up and then the rangers can hear you. Which is where things get a little awkward and you have to start trapping the mobs more intentionally. All zeros. Okay, I'm going to go for uh, Brutus, Restore, Range Pot. Glad I brought an extra Range Pot for sure. Nice spec to keep the health topped up. I'm just going to trap the mage till I've dealt with the bat and the blob. Want this with? Oh no, the bat's gonna go there, innit? The mid just can also melee you, so you don't want to get in melee range of those either. And they hit just as hard with melee as with the mage. These kills are so slow. And yeah, I changed my mind on the flicking, because these kills are going too slow, and... I want to conserve as much prayer as I can. I'm going to take out the blob first so he's not just chipping away at me. The little ones can stay, we don't give a fuck about them. Okay. I'm just going to go around and pick up all my darts because... I don't know, I'm just... I'm, I'm terrified of running out of darts. I got plenty, so I shouldn't be. I'm going to spec. I've not been making great use of my spec so far. I, I feel like it's been on full charge a lot because... I've, I've had full health, so I've not wanted to waste it while I've had full health, but... Oh, I just tanked to 30. Wouldn't have mind that just having those specs right about now. <laughs> that is just so gonna blob. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to take out the blob. Don't want him chipping me down. I think I'm actually gonna take a bite of some pie. Okay, we got Ranger and a Major coming next. It's the first actual kind of difficult wave. So we're going to make sure we pick up all our darts and then rebrew. And I'm actually going to get into the right spot so that we can just safe spot the Major. I think it's worth it. We'll eat some purple sweets to recover HP and run energy. Okay, and then we're going to brew up like... We can do three. I'm going to wait for this... Uh, buff to tick off before I kill this last one. In fact, I need to get into this corner. Because I've got to lure that ranger as close as I can so that I can actually hit it without dragging this one out. Ah, perfect. And then we just need the major. Alright, we've got major range back coming up. Don't think we're going to be able to trap either one of them. Might be able to trap that ranger, actually. Oh, and the bat. That's actually sick. That's beautiful. Perfect. We should just be able to get the major from here. Yeah, they're without the ranger seeing us. Missed a couple flicks. Not ideal. Okay, there goes the uh, mage. Go run and pick up these darts. Think it's worth it. Mage, range, double bat. Same, it's just the same wave that we did with an extra bat. So, absolutely no problem. Although we want to be careful not to trap them both. We have to let one free. There we go, we got the ranger. Ah! Don't panic. You're absolutely fine. Just leave that prayer up. Oh, I'm gonna have to tank the ranger. Gonna have purple teeth by the end of this. I've taken a couple hits off prayer and it's draining my bruise, so I think I'm just gonna have to... Like, I'm way ahead in restore some bruise, but these are also doubling as prayer pots. So it makes sense. 
But yeah, I've been flicking a lot to conserve prayer, so I think I should just use the restores a bit more liberally and conserve my food at this point. Uh, not going to be able to trap anything there. So we're just going to have to blitz this guy as quick as possible. Okay. And we get him. And we get him. We got a ranger over there, major here, two bats and a blob. So we're going to take this blob back over down here. Beautiful. And we go down to this corner. So we all lure the mage as close as we can. And then as soon as he starts attacking us, we're going to run to this corner so he gets closer. Oh, that little blob just snuck around his backside there. What a cheeky cunt. Let's have him. Don't get free hits on me, my friend. You get slapped by the pipe. Blow my pipe. Well, our goal, our loose goal was with 43, and this is with 43, so definitely uh, on par to be able to have enough time to finish this. In terms of supplies, I don't know, I'm not feeling too bad. We're doing okay here. The range pots are looking a little low, not gonna lie. That's probably the thing that looks lowest, just because of having to brew. Okay, and then quickly mage prayer on. Get over here. Great, we trap the mage. Can deal with the blobs and the ranger. Kill the mage after. Now really what we want to do is drag this major out so that we can get straight behind this rock at the start of the next phase. It just might be a bit difficult to do that. I don't know how deep he'll come. If we can game to come past that rock it'll be great we can deal with that looks like we've managed to get both of the rangers trapped there very nice should allow us to just take on the mage may have to lure it a bit deeper and that is the mage down got a mage and a melee coming next we'll be able to trap the mage and deal with the melee on its own or maybe the other way around looks like the melee's behind it so I'm going to just brew for the sake of making efficient use of the restore brew combo. Okay, nice easy to kill on a melee now. <sighs> Steaming through this, honestly. It's going well so far. Still got a r very good amount of supplies left. Almost tanked a mage hit then. That was a close one. Time for a couple more waves. We might get to around 50, which is... I think what I predicted at the start. Okay, next we got mage, melee, bat, bat. Okay, trap the mage behind that rock over there. We'll let the melee come over. And we'll let this bat out. Okay, where do we want to be So We got a major in the middle, so we want to be down here, really, so we can trap... That Melia. I don't know if my man's gonna come close enough. Fucking hell, he's slow, isn't he? Like a big slug. Hop to it. Very nice. Okay, flicking a ton now, just making sure I get the absolute most out of my prayer. That's not ideal, is it? Right next to a midge. I have to run around here as soon as he goes down. Okay, double bat, blob, melee, mage. I don't know if we're gonna have time for more than. This might be the last wave we've got coming up here. Okay, so I think we should be trapping the melee, getting the mage over here, by the looks of things. Nice to lure him a bit more, but... Okay. Figured I'd go for one more. I'm actually gonna sip a Bastion here. No need to brew up. Kill the mage while he's safely safe spotted. Out the melee, even. Got a Ranger melee mage next. We could probably do the next wave, too. 
I think we've got time. Squeezing as much as I can out here. Okay, this might be tight to get this done in time, this wave, but fingers crossed. Okay, we got one at a time here. It's an easy wave at least. So is the next one's very solved. Alright, let the ranger loose. Bring him closer. I'm gonna hit the log out button now. And you'll see log out request is being received. We'll be paused at the end of this wave. I think I missed that pro. Oh no! What a slap to the face. Okay. We may now log out. I'm gonna brew up. I'm gonna eat a half a summer pie. And yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it for today, folks. Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> oh, 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 where did we even get to there? I don't even see. Oh, we're past 50. I have no idea what wave we were on. We just did the one of each, so 53 we just did, 53. So ahead of schedule, definitely. Definitely got plenty of time to get it done in the next one. Uh, in terms of supplies, still got a decent bit left. Got a four or five full brews, maybe even six, can't remember. I think like four or five, couple summer pies. Still got plenty of purple sweets. Like six restores, wrench pot, last import. We're looking pretty good. It's all about just just getting the the home stretch done and and finishing the job, getting this forty five hour fire cap because that is essentially what this series has been. Forty five days, one hour a day. It's a forty five hour cap right there, and we're looking on track to get it. It's currently five to nine p.m. here, so I'm going to edit this video get it uploaded for y'all, and then wait for the clock to strike midnight so I can get back on in here and finish the job. The next episode will be up tomorrow, probably mid-afternoon, I'll schedule it for. But yeah, that's going to be it from this one, so please do leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Wish me luck for that Jed fight. Feeling confident, I'm feeling confident, but you're always going to get a bit jittery, aren't you? Even if you're the most confident person in the world, a Jad's still a Jad. So, any any hype and well-wishing would be appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you make sure you don't miss that next episode and all the future content I have planned. Other than that, though, look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.